Hi guys, welcome to New Frills Tech Review. This is a review of the Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 tri-band mesh router. It's the AX5300, uh, which is also known as the MX5 as it's a single node. Um, this I'm purchasing as a replacement to a Netgear D7800, um, which is uh, which was a very powerful router back in the day, the Nighthawk series. I uh, purchased that for the MU MIMO capacity, uh, as I've got lots of devices on the network. Um, so in terms of uh, what I'm running in the house at the moment, I've got about 48 devices connecting to the router. Uh, a couple of smart TVs, tablets, mobile phones, 19 smart lights, home hub, Nest minis, uh, Nest Hello doorbell, eight Sonos speakers, an Xbox, a Roku, a Fire TV stick, and three Chromecasts. So that is an average day in my household. Uh, obviously that capacity increases when people come round and they want to use the Wi-Fi. Um, in terms of my internet connection, I'm out in the sticks, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reliant on a BT line. Um, I'm very lucky to have 76 meg download, 20 meg upload out of a possible 80, 20. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this uh, this video is unbox this Linksys Velop. So in terms of what it says on the box uh, is a very 80s sort of bedspread color scheme. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, so here we go. We've got up to 5.3 gigabits per second. Uh, that's spread over 1.147 and 4.135. The 4.135, I presume, is combined to 5 gigahertz networks and the 1147 over the 2.4 um it's the tri-band ax5300 12 streams uh 4x4 multi-user mimo uh, which is very important when you've got lots of devices on your network and that's over the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz spectrums um tri-band with dedicated dynamic backhaul this is uh this is something i'm obviously not using at the moment because i've only got one node but if i expand then uh, i should imagine that will come in quite useful uh backwards compatible with abg and ac and Y. yeah okay um usual security measures links this app with separate guest network and parental controls um in terms of processing ax optimized 2.2 quad core processor uh, should be up to the task. Uh, five gigabit Ethernet ports. Uh, obviously, one of those is dedicated for the WAN, so it was four gigabit Ethernet ports effectively for use. One USB 3 port. Uh, I should imagine that is for sharing files over the network. Uh, Bluetooth 4 with LE to set the device up in the first place from your mobile device. So the highlights on the back. Four times the speed of AC. Um, deliver true gigabit speeds. Uh, I mean, true. this is not something that's uh, really important to me and probably not important to most people, getting giganet, gigabit ethernet speed um, on your mobile device is where well, you've not got gigabit internet for the most part. Um, if you've got a NAS drive on your local network, could be useful to move files around, but again, um, that's probably not applicable to the bulk of you. Um, this one is in the real world. More capacity to more devices. Um, Receives multiple streams of data simultaneously, providing up to four times more Wi-Fi capacity to handle every day. Yeah, okay. Um, I did read somewhere that it was quoting 50 plus devices. 
and as I've got 48 devices on my network on a, on a slow day, then uh, it's quite useful to me. Uh, more range than Wi-Fi 5. So Wi-Fi 5 is what they're now calling the old AC protocol. So um, whereas previously you had ABG and AC, it's now one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the latest incarnation of that. Uh, minimizes Wi-Fi congestion, uh, eliminates interference from neighboring networks with Wi-Fi 6 technology that can isolate your network and deliver the clearest signal available. Probably quite useful in uh, in built-up areas. Uh, I'm in a in a detached house. Um, I've not really had a problem with interference from neighbors, but uh, yeah, for the most part, probably useful. Um, smarter security. Uh, okay, everyone says that. 100% backwards compatible. Uh, okay, is what it is. Right, let's crack it open. Nice to get a chunky delivery from Amazon. Which I've now ripped the box. Setup guide. Pretty much just telling you to download the app and set it up from there. We got here a power brick. Okay, one that points it up. Quite a chunky thing. Not a fan of these, would rather have a normal size plug socket going off to a brick. A flat cable. Presume that's a bigger bit. And then the router itself, one node. It's, um, it's fairly weighty, but I'd say I was expecting it to be a bit more weighty. Um, so on the bottom, you've got reset, WPS button, and on and off. And in the back, we've got, we've got a USB port, uh, four LAN ports, and a WAM port. As it said previously, they're all gigabit. And then the power on the bottom, uh, on the top, and I'm not sure what that is, if it's a button or not. Um, plenty of ventilation in the top. Um, really looks better than most routers. I mean, uh, certainly the more powerful routers at the moment, they're sort of big black things and they look hideously space age and um, for no apparent reason um, so what I'm going to do is get this set up and um, see how she performs with all my devices um, I mean to note on the the Netgear router that I'm currently running I have had problems recently with it dropping the internet connection and it seems to be running out of memory um, and I think that is down to all the devices I've got connected at any one time. So uh, hopefully this will resolve that and increase performance and range at the same time. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, click on the notification icon. And uh, if you do that, then I will post another video reviewing real world tests in a couple of weeks or so. Thanks guys. Bye.